All right, uh, welcome back. Still, you're watching Why in the Morning. By the way, apologize for those short hitches. They do happen very often on live television, so don't worry. We've got you. But welcome back. You're still watching Why in the Morning with me, Brian Sakwa. And in this segment, hashtag MCM, we are talking about sacrifices in relationship and still on that in relationship to Eid or other. By the way, happy Eid or other to all our Muslim brothers out there who are celebrating Eid. Ensure that you share that pillar, okay? But uh, in this conversation, I'm not alone. I'm being joined by two gentlemen. We're going to delve into this conversation about sacrifices. And the question of the day still is, what is that one sacrifice you've ever had to make for your better half? And you're like, eh, mother, this one, this one, it's to the extreme. I mean, this one almost denied me that opportunity for me to be free or to be happy or to just be you. So we're going to talk about that. And uh, joining me on my immediate right is uh, Derek Kamau, who's also a student, a mass communication student. So basically, he'll just about to become a journalist at uh, JQuant. And uh, uh, next to him is Joshua Kalib, who's also a retail shopkeeper and also a YouTuber gentleman. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to start straight with you, Derek, and I want to dive into the conversation directly because, you know, in this day and age, we are all about, you know, giving our partners attention, the time and the energy. And I'm, I'm just interested to know maybe for our viewers too, what is that one crazy sacrifice you've ever had to make for your partner? Okay, thank you. First of all, thank you for having me here. I appreciate it. Um, my name is Derek Kamau. I'm a student at JQuart. I do mass communication. I'm a programmer too. So um, uh, le let me use uh, the other languages. Okay. So um, so me na feel kitu nisha ifanya the most for a relationship. Uh, nisha is sacrifice. I sacrifice to stop parting okay. for a relationship. Yeah, and that's to the that's to my extreme. Uh -huh. Yeah. And did you work? Because <laughs> you're saying Ulia Chakonda rev kabisa and you kept it one hundred like you wanted to just stay with her and ensure that you guys have that attention together and that energy. How far did it go? Are you still together? And what happened? Actually no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Connie? Uh okay, it's a long story. Okay. But uh what I feel is like in, in a relationship you need to make sacrifices. Okay. Yeah, for, for it to work out. And see uh, times they have when you plan. Okay. Yeah, that's what I feel. So I couldn't have really expect I couldn't expectations. Have really expect. And yeah. uh, to you, Joshua, I understand you have a YouTube page. Do you feel, I, I'll, st I'll still want you to come back to that question, but before you answer that, I want you to, to explain, do you feel like it's necessary for you to publicize your relationship because you said you're also a YouTuber? Like how far is too far with it? And you say, ah, he, I is. Uh, for me, uh, it's not good to publicize your relationship. Okay. It is not good at all. Because you will find that these social media platforms was meant to promote social, social what? So, uh, this kuletaile unity and uh, to bring your things public, it helps in a public way. And uh, putting your relationship in social media or posting your relationship, uh, you are trying to show some, you're tr that's like show off. It, that's another thing. You're trying to bring other goals, which is not loving your partner. No. Okay. So when you, uh, when you love your partner, why can't you just remain in private, protect your, your partner? Okay. For me, I cannot expose my partner. Siyezi anza kuambia saini kona nani. Kwa sababu, we want it to, to be a private thing. Because ni yetu sisi wawili. Kwa nini tuwalete nyini? Yeah. No, no. So yeah. it's 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 that eh uh, usi don't don't publicize relationship okay. about sacrifices uh for me I've made a lot of sacrifices in a relationship please tell us some of them <laughs> interested <laughs> uh, for me I've made a lot of sacrifices uh, I remember there's this one sacrifice I made ili okay. nisumbua sana yeah. uh, I was in my house uh, my house my house you was in your house. It means <laughs> yeah. you're not currently in your house. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was in my house. Then uh -huh. I, I got a call from my girl. Okay. Ah, uh, hello, Kali, Joshua, Niaje. 
si unitumie hata pesa ni kule nyama choma Aha. and by that time i had nothing nilikuwa sina kitu mm. nilikuwa sina kitu unajua kukosa kitu ni kusema mm. nini sina kitu Aha. Aha. so i was like who dem anataka nimtumie kitu na sina kitu okay. tutafanyaje uh, nikakaa chini nikaona after after some time kukosa kutuma akanikasirikia okay. which was not good nikaona yeah. ah hapa ndaribu ndaribu kila kitu and we've made this to tumependana na udem miaka mingi kwa nini pesa kidogo ya nyama choma isumbue na sina ukweli sina kitu so i went in my closet nikatafuta sneaker yangu mzuri that sneaker was uh, ai I want to cry. I want to cry on camera. Hiyo sneaker ilikuwa pesa mingi sana. It was one of my leather leather sneaker. So you had to sell it. I had to sell that sneaker. Those babies. So sweet. So sad. So after selling the sneakers, the worst thing is that I sold the sneakers at the worst price. Nilipata morio wangu hapo nikamwambia hii sneaker nauza na 3500. Akaniambia mm-hmm. ah 3500 nayo mimi siwezi chukua sneaker chukua 400. Uh-huh. <laughs> Unasikia? Chukua wow. 400. Okay. Galde muku nataka nyama choma. I had to sell it with 400. Na hata akunilipa pesa yote. Alinipea 250. That is the worst sacrifice I've ever made. Yeah. And then after sending yeah. the money to the girl, okay. Now this is the craziest thing. Uh-huh. The girl returned the money, akaniambia hiyo ndo unaona mimi na ka 250 shocking sacrifice and and it's crazy you talk about <laughs> you, you 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 sacrifice one of your pair of favorite Ay. shoes and uh, in this generation we, we are all about you know wanting to show off and yeah. communicate to our partners and bring them close especially for us the butcher do you think ile ile space yeah, like kuelewana na kuambia ukikona dem na kwa relationship na mwambie eh manze tunaingia kwa relationship but mimi sina do do you think money is like one of the major commodities that for your relationship nowadays has it last yeah okay yeah definitely yeah money pesa lazima ikuwe pesa is like petroleum in a relationship mm. eh per relationship ikisimama tunaongeza pesa ndani ndio iendelee kusonga okay eh wanasemanga ati mapenzi ni ni safari kama una nauli shuka, shuka. <laughs> stage iko wapi sasa shuka asa hii stage ndio ipatika nangi <laughs> tunaendanga tu lakini pesa lazima ikue okay. mimi experience yangu tangu nikuwe mdogo nimekuwa okay. naona movies nini nini mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i have noticed that the key of relationships falling apart is money mm-hmm. especially right money now money ni pesa hakuna kitu ingine ni uh-huh. pesa pesa lazima ukue nayo hiyo okay. nayo pesa lazima kuwe na nishasema to you direct yeah. what, what do you think uh, made your relationship fail because when i when i ask you the first time you said that there there must be sacrifices that mm-hmm. you have to make yeah. and you said you had to sacrifice your uh, my life yeah, your, your time and <laughs> energy yeah. and attention in attention everything you what about the conversation about money like did you previously have that conversation and you told her eh me sit a job I'm a minister today mm-hmm. and for this relationship to work mm-hmm. just know that there's some things sit a kwa able to meet cuz I'm not like a working class mini yeah, student yeah. exactly so um to to a student in a whole different okay because missy working class for one reason uh maybe ile ile pocket money kidogo natumiwa na alafu pesa za ku hustle hustle kiase unafanya job hapa pale remote tasks kitu kama hiyo hizo ndo unafaa like inafaa ku fuel your relationship so um uh, to me according to me money is very key in a relationship and another key thing is communication uh, cuz um like if you're in a relationship na we kabisa unaona uwezi juu maybe una do ama si ati una like ni vile una ways of earning yeah. you say like me for example in my um, i'm still a teenager yeah. <laughs> like ways of, of earning are, are limited so i feel m- money is very key but still um, your spouse you should un- understand your spouse that's yeah, that's very key your pen a very key thing so uh, in short communication money now nah, talking like understanding your spouse
Okay. And yeah. speaking of understanding, uh, uh, I'd, I'd like you to actually just explain Kidogo. At what point do you say that I may have to compromise for either this relationship to work? I'm any sacrifice. In a, in a Fikanga situation, Ghanaian, you, you have to make that choice. Like for you, you said you had to sell your you know, best pair of sneakers. You know. And then she returned the money. Yeah. Iki Fikani love. Yeah. When it comes to love, Mr. Presenter. Okay. Nini, inaituaje, kuna kale ka feeling. Uta feel to kuna ki sensation ita kutriga. Ni kama ni ki, kama ki, ki hint. Uta, utajua tu kwa kichu wako hapa, hapa unaharibu. Unachoma. Hapa unachoma. Una <laughs> <laughs> Ukikosa pesa, u, yeah. unaona, when I, ha, I had to, so, to sell it, ju sasa I was pushed. I was mm. pushed by my, my heart. Unaona. Inani gwara gwara, inaniambia, sasa wewe, unataka kukosa kuuze uki atu baki hivo. Huh? Una, un, at the back of my head, unasikia kitu inakuambia, sasa utabaki hivo, brother. Yeah. Uta baki hivo. Because <laughs> the fear, and, and actually from that story I'm yeah. picking up, kuna ile kawoga flani, eh, you're like, staki kwa peke eh. Do you feel like most of us, my boy child, we suffer from the fear of being alone, ama autaki kuishi peke yako? We ama unaogopa kuwacho, ama heartbreak. Mm. Do you boy think it's because of that? Boy child is kitu sana. Uh -huh. it's, it's just that kuna wenye wali master, wanataka wa, wa pretend, wanaona wakika wa hivo jionyesha ati wanaogopa, that will be like their weak point. And men, wapendi kuonyesha weak points weakness. zao. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, for me, siyezi danganya. Yeo ilikuwa weak point. Yo kugwarwa, gwarwa. Mm. Mm. Ilibidi tu nimeuze yo kiatu. Lakini kuna wenye wanajuanga kujifanya, iwasumbui, lakini inawasumbua. Yeah. Nona? Yeah. Eh, so. Interesting. <laughs> Let me come back to you, Derek. Uh -huh. Toxicity. Uh -huh. uh, at what point do you realize, eh, manze mini kwa toxic relationship, Na hui dem amenivurugi. And as much as tunapendana, it's love, yes, mm -hmm. but it's toxic. Um, I feel yeah. uh, any relationship, uh, any toxic relationship is any relationship that involves a lot of drama, okay. a lot of maybe fighting or something. Like, every kila siku ni two situationships, like, amekuna na mtu, she's insecure, mm -hmm. uh, like, a lot of things, then about your exes, like bitu mingi sana, like maybe you are in a relationship in which like who them, for example, uh, atake kuona na anyone, na kikuona mm, na anyone, jealousy. yeah, jealousy, okay. yeah, a lot of things, jealousy, uh, nezo sema pia, yeah, like attention, like uni dem pia, like anataka ukwe hapo, kila saa, yeah. kila saa, yeah. yeah, so definitely that's, that's, so ade mimi, like, I wouldn't. This is user of your tuzangu. Don't you satisfy, like, uh, attention, attention, I'm a love, I'm a love. Yeah. Ama, yeah. Kweni, kweni what is love compared to shoes? <laughs> mm. uh -huh. Like, okay. your shoes, personal yeah, belongings. Yeah, my personal belongings, my yeah. clothing. Like, shoes, a lover. Yeah. shoes, ni, 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 ni clothing, pia. Yeah. Like, clothing is a basic need. Yeah. Basic needs come first. Yeah. So that's what I feel. So, uh, for 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 him, I feel yaki yaki likuwa toxic relationship. Okay. Ju, I, I I don't get why you nauza well, viatu well, ndiyo. Utumie 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 mstana wenye we mstana yeah. <laughs> nyako na wazazi wake mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. pesa yeah. abai nyamchom. Like, that's not fair. That's really unfair to that to to unfair. us Indeed. as the male gender. And do you think back at him? Do you think that sacrificing your favorite, let's say, sacrificing your joy for someone, do you think it's a toxic trait? And uh, I still want to, I still want to hear your feedback as we progress with the show. But let me come to you. Uh, uh, you, you, you mentioned uh, that part. You, you said that there's just like a certain feeling mm -hmm. that pushes you to do something out of, you know, out of, out of without understanding. Do you think that uh, most of the girls, some of most of the most of the women you attract are just your type or maybe you're attracting the wrong women like how do you know that you're in, you're in love or am you're in a relationship with the right uh, woman am the right girl apart from mentioning the toxicity like the one who pushed you to sell your shoes you know when you're in love the moment uh, you you spot somebody and you you you'll realize that you're in love your body will react utajua to Okay, yeah. when, when I'm in studio right here. Okay. Right now, I have met uh, camera ladies there, yeah, very sure, pretty. 
mbona sija mbona sija react because i am not in la there is mm, sija feel okay. i have not felt it so it's a feeling eh, so lakini kuna wale tu uta feel and i'm trying to tell my friend over here utauza once you are in love you've never been in love <laughs> utauza I've met guys they have sold everything. Wameuza hadi shule. Unasema kama viatu. Like somebody sacrificed their uh, whole being kila kitu for just one girl utauza. Ah. So that happened to me and I realized I learned from that. Uh, Sai tumekuwa different. Sai hata Sai when we are choosing a girl in the life we are right now hii maisha ya pesa. Yeah. Msichana tutachagua ni mwenye He is not consuming too much money. <laughs> Ju lazima ata consume. So yeah. tunatafuta ule mwenye achukui pesa mingi, tuna calculate asubuhi anataka uh, ataniomba pesa ya kushuka after two weeks. Eh, hey, very huyo. Acha tuende na huyo. Kuliko huyu wanjiko mwenye atataka 2k, 5k nini sahi maisha tuko sahi yeah, we are choosing yeah, yeah. girls who are consuming less money <laughs> compared to the no, wote wanataka pesa yeah, yeah. Eh, so but to the question love utajua yeah, you will yeah, feel yeah, it yeah, yeah. Sure. Eh, itakugua you will just feel it mm. utajua. utajua we are created as human beings to kona to know six, yeah. the six sense Zico. interesting and you'd also realize in this day and age uh, tunapenda sana social media mm. na unataka like ut, ut, we had this conversation before we come on air ulikuwa umesema you can't jeopardize your relationship mm. by posting it on social media because una feel like you'll be inviting so many other forces mm. somehow to wengi mm. kuja kuwa na no. opinion about vitu unafanya mm. but in this day and age there's even couples even like kabi or jesus mm. they have a couple youtube channel ambao they're using it to make money so do you think Uh, relationships nowadays is centered on making profits like if you're not bringing me money then we can't be in a relationship and what is the dynamic no no yo mr sakwa yeah. sakwa right yeah sure sakwa you've said our watu when you wanna create couples wanaweka kwa channel they are using it to get money okay they are using it to get money and they have agreed and no wame wamekubaliana wame hiyo ni ya kucreate money na ni ya kujiletea profits na nini lakini si tume, nimekuwa nasema ile ya kupost yeah I, i i just go on and post somebody i love hiyo sasa nimeleta nimeleta enemies hiyo uh-huh. sasa nimeleta enemies ndio maana kwa status yangu utapata nimepost wasichana wengi uh-huh. ndio uh-huh. enemies Katrena. wachague anaweza kuwa mgani kwao confuse, kwa enemies. What, eh, yeah. to confuse <laughs> my enemies i always confuse yeah. my enemies by posting too many girlfriends unaona mm-hmm. so hii kupost wasichana ikwangi safe okay. it's not safe at all kwanza kwa maisha tuko sahi ya wivu Somebody will go on text your girlfriend tell him unajua sakwa siku hizi anarudia kiatu mm, mimi niko mm. na viatu mbili yeah, yako yeah. na moja nice. kaizo i know you just avoid drama okay let me come to you derek uh, <laughs> how do you feel about this um? do you think that posting your love on social media is jeopardizing the relationship and how 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 comfortable does it get for you as an individual because uh, nowadays kila mtu anataka kwa facebook twitter nini nini hadi unataka hadi less kuna fanya you mm-hmm. want it to be engaged uh-huh. or married pale social media um me me na feel yeah. okay actually but i mean like my point of view is different from his yeah. because me na feel mbona mbona uficho wo wo partner yeah are you uh, kama una mficha either you're not proud of him or her ama you, you don't really want her Th- that's what i feel because um like kama relationship ilikuwa kwa private mbona like you 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 shouldn't but see get in a, in a relationship that's what i feel yeah yeah that's what i feel okay interesting uh-huh. I'll, i'll ask you this before i get back to you uh trust uh-huh. how do you how do you reach at a place in your nasikia like eh hey, manze we damn nasikia kama ndam trust we then kimo acha peke yake home ama kama menda shule ama ata menda club unajua sisi ni millennials uh-huh. so you are about that life unaenda yeah. club nini una interact na mabeshte uh-huh. how do you feel ama what sign inafanya nasikia eh mean we damn nam trust first of all trust trust comes with time was it trust to mtu venye mmemit show mara ya kwanza like okay. unam trust 100% z trust will come after maybe a, a, a while live like bado the, the way mtu anajibeba okay. you know whether to trust her or not 
like kama mtu like mtu kiacha hapo pesa hizi chukua like trust trust involves a lot of things kama communication like kama ni mtu na communicate about maybe all most of our stuff like unajua tu unaweza trust ama like communicating about everything yeah. like when he before communication is very key according to me very very key yeah. so communication when i build up trust yeah, that's true. according to my point of view nice yeah interesting thank you uh, mr joshua na it, it, if you can if you can apply say like you have to when i say manzi i have to call this relationship i have to quit it what are some of the signs that you una uraza uraza say eh manzi ni experience hii nimefika mwisho i have to remove myself out of the equation and, and say unawe. goodbye uh, yeah <laughs> So what are some of the experiences maybe the ones that you've had the you know, the previous one apart from kuuza your favorite pair of sneakers unajua una you will find yourself feeling unaumia sana kwa nini umie sana after selling my sneakers ilibidi nimetafuta Crocs sasa naenda kila mahali na Crocs unaona so vitu kama hizo ndogo ndogo unajipata unaumia sana why should i hurt myself aya unajipata kila saa ni stress una you, you can't even think about yourself you think yeah. about other person na huyo mtu yeye anajifikiria na anafikiria vitu zake mm. wewe au jifikiri yeah why should you do that kwa nini uendelee ku proceed na hiyo it, hiyo kwanza ni unhealthy hata yeah. hata science that's a sign of a toxic eh, kuna mahali kwa biology kuna kitu kama hiyo Uh, you, you shouldn't hurt yourself and after a long period of relationship kama hiyo utagundua you are losing a lot and the yeah. partner is gaining a lot yeah true true true, true. and again na wewe una lose lose yeah and that is not good you sh- mnafam gain wote kama Whatever mnapendana mnafam na gain wote yeah it's a two way traffic yeah. yeah and still on that one uh, kuna kuna ile aspect ya like when you meet someone for the first time kuna wenye utafall in love mm. na you're like eh hey, new you too i my, know it's this one. but after some time Ona ona eh hey, ah, 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 this is fire. Uh, <laughs> how how for example if you're meeting maybe at a club because we interact a lot with young people. Uh, Ukipata na mtu for the first time kwa club na muna interact muna connect and then munafika kwa nyumba you're like nope sitaki mambo tena. <laughs> What is usually the problem? <laughs> uh, first of all tumekuwa tunaongelea pesa. Yeah. Hiyo na juu iko kwa kichwa. Pesa. Ata uh, he, you you'll realize that Okay. The goal was not love. The girl kuna kitu anataka. Na hiyo kitu anataka hata after umempea after giving her what she wants, she will want it again, again and again and yeah. again. She may want many things okay. as youths. Kuna vitu mingi unaweza taka. Sasa jiongelea pesa peke yake. But hiyo okay. kitu anataka akiitaka sana unaumia. Yeah. Shuka hapo, toka hapo. So too much demanding, too much <laughs> codependence. Toka hapo. Eh, All right. you, w- And I think as we summarize, mm-hmm. let me let me finish with you, Derek. Mm-hmm. Do you think that we are under pressure to uh, meet societal standards in a relationship? Unasikia like bishta yako kwa na relationship mwingine aliko na nyingine, mwingine ako get married. Do you feel like especially for you in campus, do you feel like kuna ile pressure kuwa na girlfriend hata kama hauna means za ku sustain your relationship? Yeah, pressure iko like wajua tuko campus 30 seconds ah yeah. oh tuko campus yeah. like pressure iko like for me for example most of my friends are in very healthy relationships okay i'm, I'm also in a relationship okay <laughs> like pressure iko i feel a lot of pressure iko peer pressure mostly yeah yeah peer pressure iko uh, have you ever been under the pressure to sh- to get into a relationship pressure when you're in a relationship obviously there is pressure When you engage yourself in a relationship lazima ukue na pressure. Uwezi niambia una pressure. Pressure yeah. lazima ikue. Okay. So for me I've been in pressure. Nimekuwa nayo sana lakini so, so. I've learned and I would advise Kenyans kama unapitia hiyo pressure sana don't hurt yourself. Do not hurt yourself. Mm, love yourself. Okay. Mm. Jito. Love yourself, <laughs> do not hurt yourself <laughs> and do not put yourself under the pressure to please someone. But anyways, it's about sacrifices. So mm-hmm. uh, at least at least you sacrifice 
one or two things <laughs> to sustain your relationship. Mafuka. Yeah, which is cool. And also in relation to it all other today, happy it all that it all other, beg your pardon, to our Muslim brothers out there. Mkikula Pilau Tafadali, remember to share. The economy is not good right now. <laughs> so, so invite someone. And that sums up the conversation of the day. Thank you so much for interacting with us. But keep the conversation going online. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is still Y254 channel. Remember on Instagram and Y254 under, underscore channel. And thank you so much for our guests for coming. We have run out of time, but we have to end it here. My name is Brian Sako. See you next time, maybe tomorrow, right here.